Hi guys, here's the lesson prep for Sunday's class where we'll be learning to paint features. I've sped up these in case you'd like to review the demos during class. I'll also be doing a few more during the class itself. But I wanted to point out a few tricks I'm using that make this easier to paint as a beginner and some things I find interesting. So for starters, I'm using very high GSM arches paper, 840 GSM, I think, which is cold pressed and allows for layering and light gradients. For this exercise of an eye, it seems almost photorealistic, but it's not. It simply doesn't have a lot of really common mistakes. I've simply chosen a reference with a well-defined highlight and I'm working in an accurate tonal scale, in particular by painting the whites of the eyes and adequate darkness. So we're so used to seeing caricatures of eyes that when we put in just a little bit of time to actually paint what we see rather than what we assume ought to be there, the effect is really rewarding to the viewer. So similarly, the sense of realness of these lips has a lot to do with the reference I've chosen rather than the painting itself. The realism has a lot to do with the fact that I've chosen a reference with a pronounced highlight, but also that I've considered the cross ref reflection of the upper and lower lip. As we move into elements with more subtlety where there are less defined highlights, you might find that the process becomes a little bit more demanding. It's important to remember that lips naturally can have little to no actual local value, so local value that's a color intrinsic to them that's different to the rest of the skin. And when someone's not wearing makeup, a lot of colors on the skin uh, on the rest of the face will be incorporated in the lips. So in the class itself on Sunday, I'll be using lower grade watercolor paper myself and simplifying these exercises into their main parts, including a bit more on the nose. But I'd encourage you, if you're interested in creating your own portraits and are struggling a bit with the medium, to invest in some higher quality paper that can be broken down into studies and then searching for references with a variety of highlights to practice with. And as always, if you're not already and you'd like to be included in upcoming classes and study group material, please just send me an email at Soho life drawing at gmail.com.